A unique event in Montgomery County is taking people down memory lane. A family's massive collection of vintage lunch, lunch boxes is up for auction. And it sparked some conversation yeah. here in the studio in the newsroom as well. Evening Edition Sophia Millar shows us some of the rare lunch boxes on display and talks to the family about where this collection started. When Mark Brown walks past this auction display, he's flooded with so much more emotion than just nostalgia for his childhood cartoons. Everything I touch has memories of dad. Marvin Brown bought his first lunchbox in the 1980s. The collection only grew from there until 40 years later, it turned into this. Usually the first expression was, wow, how did he collect so many? Brown spent his life tracking down a collection of 520 vintage lunchboxes, which range from strawberry shortcake to Batman to the Jetsons to Barbie. History tells that metal lunchboxes became commercial in the 1950s with the rise of television shows. Well, the very last metal lunchbox was made in 1985, and it's actually here. It's this Rambo lunchbox. And the story goes that uh, kids were hitting each other over the head with them, and so they went to, at that time to the plastic. And Brown collected those too. Both metal and plastic lunchboxes are part of the auction taking place this week at Caswell Pruitt Realty in Mount Sterling. Marvin Brown passed away in 2020, and the family doesn't have the space to store them anymore. Your best hope is that it goes to the next generation. They will love it and care for it exactly as you did. Bidding starts at $5, which could get you a great deal on really interesting or rare lunchboxes, like this Toppy lunchbox. The highest bid on him is currently at $1,550. But even if you don't plan on bidding, auctioneer Omar Pruitt says people should at least come see the collection. It evokes a memory and they start talking about the kid they sat next to in school or a bully who stole their lunch. I think they'll be entertained uh, uh, just seeing and reminiscing. And while Mark says he's sad to see the lunchboxes go, he believes they'll find a new home with someone who can appreciate them the same way his dad did. In Montgomery County, Sophia Millar, Evening Edition.